We're going to open it, ladies and gentlemen. A warm welcome to the Eames Auction Room here this afternoon. Nice to see a bit of rain for a change, eh? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, at least they've got a little bit of a smile out here. <laughs> Welcome to the auction room here today. We've just got eight properties for you this afternoon, but we have definitely got eight quality offerings for you, so we won't take up too much of your time. We'll move through it fairly quickly. Uh, my name is Grant Child. I'll be facilitating proceedings here today, and of course, Robin, uh, she'll, uh, she'll look up after all the, uh, the technology. She'll even make your bids look uh, appear up on the screen there, so uh, you won't have to just uh, just listen to me. You might see the level of the video on the screen, and of course, that helps our remote viewers watching via the live stream as well. Of course, we welcome our viewers watching the, via the live stream. Some vendors, some uh, buyers are watching out there. So uh, uh, these folks across the bottom of the screen here, Louise, Scott, Mark, they are very experienced managers in our organisation and they are here to assist you today. Because the reason for that is if your bids don't take me to the seller's reserve price, I can't help you any further. I need you to be at the reserve before I can sell the property to you. So if we're not at that level, I'll pause the auction. One of the team will step in. They'll give you the opportunity to keep working with our vendor through that vendor, through that negotiation process. In which case, if you reach agreement, it'll come back to me. I'll confirm any amendments and the property will be then put to the floor and sold to the highest bidder. But if you don't reach agreement, folks, there's one thing that I need you to be very, very clear on. And that is, there are a lot of conditional buyers out there in the marketplace, not in the elite position of cash, unconditional buyers as you are here today. Those buyers can come forward with an offer, immediately the auction is closed. So don't think that because you're a cash buyer at the auction, you can leave it until afterwards and negotiate with the vendors because anybody can come forward and you might finish up with one of those multiple offers. So uh, just uh, covering off the documentation, you would have all been provided with the Buyers and Sellers Guide. Uh, it's been around since 2008. There are copies available when you stand outside of the room. You've heard on the basis that we have provided you that document. But let's go straight to the most important one, of course, and that is the contract of sale. It's been circulated in draft form, as you see there on the screen. Uh, draft has now been removed. Everything's been confirmed. The finalised copies are available in the stand outside of the room as well. But if there's been any amendments, any changes, uh, deletions, additions, I'll alert you to that prior to your bidding, but I'm sure your salesperson will have contacted you and let you know by now anyway. By way of any bidding today, folks, I'm going to assume that you've read, understood, and accept that contract that we work to today. Uh, so I'm not going to go through it in its, in its entirety, but what you see up on the screen there is the uh, superimposed conduct of auction, which is set out at this portion here on the front page. Again, uh, I'm not going to go through that in its entirety. A couple of important points that I just want to cover off with you. One is vendor bidding. Now, I'm the only one that's authorised to submit bids on behalf of our sellers. When the vendors have signed the reserve form, they've confirmed that nobody else will submit vendor bids. I'm the only one authorised to do so. I will disclose any vendor bids to you, and the only reason that I will use a vendor bid is if I've got one person that's participating in the auction and we are below the seller's reserve price. In fact, we are below a figure that the sellers are quite happy to uh, continue negotiations with you. So uh, just uh, be very confident as far as vendor bids are concerned, folks. They're not there designed to push the price up, they are there to help you get to that negotiating platform. Again, if there's only just the one of you participating, uh, at which time we'll pause the auction and you can continue the discussions with one of our managers. The other one uh, that I just wanted to alert you to, folks, and remind you is your obligations immediately on completion of the auction is to obviously sign the contract and pay your deposit equaling 10% of the purchase price uh, unless you've made other arrangements with our sellers prior to the auction here today. So that's all I want to cover off, folks. It's, uh, everything else has been pretty well, pretty well spelled out for you. Uh, is there any questions that I might be able to answer at this juncture before we move on to our first offering? No? Excellent. Right, let's go straight into it then. Number 16, Laura Avenue. Uh, Rachel Love from our Bethlehem office has been presenting this property. And before I share with you some pearls of wisdom about the property and cover off the legal aspects, you just need to be aware that Rachel does have multiple buyers that are those conditional buyers that we talked that I alluded to in my preamble. Just making sure that you are aware of that. If you don't buy today, there's a very good chance that you'll go into one of those multi-offers. So what we're offering you here today at 16 Laura Avenue is a sizable family home 
certainly surrounded by premium homes in the exclusive Rosedale subdivision uh, and has certainly grown over recent years as well. The legal aspects of the property is a freehold estate, 759 square metres of land, more or less is what you buy. 608076 is the record title number in the South Auckland Registry Office that confirms all the legal aspects of it. Uh, 6th of April 2023, Rachel is still our settlement date. No changes to the channel, channels list that you've had circulated, so it's all there, folks. You've got the uh, uh, quick reminder about the generous living spaces, the super high start. That offers you that uh, sense of light and space as well. The property itself was built to spec by its present owners, so it encompasses that concept of multi generational living with that fully self contained uh, one bedroom granny flat that comes with it as well. So that's a real asset. Uh, to this particular property is that uh, multi-generational living facilities. The thoughtful design, well that allows the interactive spaces between that, uh, that wonderful chef's kitchen and the lounge and it also provides you uh, convenience and flow for entertaining with larger groups and you will have all recognised that very much so when you viewed the property. Fully fenced, mostly flat section there, I mentioned the land size of 759 square metres more or less, uh, providing suitable space for young families and pets there and then of course you've got those stunning long views out over the neighbouring reserve as well. So uh, I don't need to prattle on too much more about the property, you've all had the opportunity to view it, you've all had the opportunity to feel it, now I offer you the opportunity to buy it. So in your hands, why where would you like to start your way? That's a great start. Fantastic. <laughs> Falling in love with you already, folks. What about 1.5 up? Somebody start me away at 1.15. Thank you, sir. Appreciate the start there. $1,150,000. We've got $25,000 rises from here. 1175 would be the next number, the retort that we need here. First of all, now let's get on the bike and pedaling and join us now, folks, if you're in for this one. 1150, triple O, chasing down another 25 rise. 1175, advancing yourself, are you there, sir? I saw you put your hand up, I'm happy to go there. Advance, hey. Now, I'm, now you're totally confused, but you went like this and you went like this. <laughs> Look, I'm happy to go 1175 on behalf of the seller. Take me 1.2, shall we? Make it 1.2, thank you. Appreciate you been there at $1,200,000. On the right hand side here, still going in 25s at this junction now, at 11200. Looking for a 25 rise. First call, second sign. Last opportunity for you to join us. Work alongside you again at 1225 now. $1,225,000 Make it two fifty, shall we? At one million two hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars. It's with me at this point in time at one million two two five, making it two fifty, shall we? At two fifty we go now. At one million two hundred and fifty thousand dollars on the rise over here on the right hand side against everybody else in the room. We're still looking for a twenty-five rise. First call now, are we in or out? Second time, last chance. One, two, five, oh, triple O. 75. I'm just going to go 75 once more on behalf of the seller at 1275. Take me to 1.3, folks. We'll pause and give you the opportunity to keep discussing with our sellers. 1275 is with me at this point in time. Make 1.3. We'll give you that opportunity to talk to your owners. Okay, well it's with me at 1275, we need to put something on top to have that opportunity to keep, to keep working with our sellers. I've made that suggestion for you. 1.28. 1.28. Should we make it 1285? 1285? Here we go. 1285 it is. At $1,285,000 on the right hand side now. At $1,285,000 for the one we're better bid, otherwise we pause and talk with these folks here. First call now. Second time, last chance in a out. Louise bids down here, 1285, can you see if you can help me? Right, moving on, 3B Southern and Nav is the next one uh, for the afternoon. Charlotte Garden needs no introduction from our Papamara office. Now, you'll be hard pressed to find a coastal property quite like this one, folks. It's been lovingly cared for, impeccably maintained inside and out right throughout its life. The legal aspects is a cross lease freehold, SA32A folio 551, the record of title that uh, is, of course, housed in the public in the, uh, uh, the land transfer office. 
Covenant Trust are the legal owners of this one, folks. So there's lots of clauses in the contract. They've been there right from the outset, so I'm not going to go through those in their entirety. And of course, an additional clause in there, just reminding you, as the standard with options, you bid and buy, and you are deemed to have accepted the vendor's title with no rights of any requisition. 30 days from today's date, Charlotte, this is still our similar date. Any changes to the channels list or anything? No, all that's standard there. So uh, back to the property itself, you've got the living room slide that grants access to an elevated porch, uh, suitably sized for a couple of sling-back chairs there, or maybe a lounger for you to sit back and enjoy. Uh, the sheltered posse certainly offers you a front row seat of those show-stopping sunsets that you get from this property at 3B Summer than that. It's cute, it's cosy, it's comfortable. What more could you ask for? It comes fully equipped with the enviable lifestyle to boot with this that this location brings you because you've only got a very short stroll to the beach and ample to the local bars and restaurants. Uh, now that's it, you know, an absolute draw card for a property in this location there. Southern than that, we don't get many properties in this location, but when they do, they always go, go well, so great for resale. This one in particular, drenched in sunshine, the home itself invitingly warm as well there. Initially, uh, very deceptive, this particular property, because the level of space available will certainly impress those who come to visit you. But you can't have your visit visitors until you bought the property and settled on it. That settlement just 30 days away, so now's your opportunity to buy it. Where would you like to say go for this one, folks? Looking for an opening bid. You don't have to hold your breath, folks. It has to be a, has to be a good, genuine intent. First call now for an opening bid. Second time for cash interest. Need to disclose it now. Third, last opportunity. Now, Charlotte, we haven't got cash here today, obviously, otherwise somebody would be putting their hand up by now because I've got no registered telephone. But it's where do we need to be? To what, we're talking about Southern Lab here, you know, down, all up downtown the mountain. What sort of money do we need to be able to buy this property? Yes, yeah, so the prime location and the price is about $1,290,000. $1,290,000 buys this property there, folks. So uh, Charlotte will be, uh, she'll be sticking around a little bit longer. She's got one more property to go up this afternoon. Otherwise, you can contact her out of the Papamara office and she'll gladly help you with this one. Price now at $1,290,000 only. All right, moving along, property number three for the afternoon, 24 Carlton Street, Chandasuri from our Cameron Road office and Colin Stewart Road from our Katakiri office been jointly marketing this property and a great property indeed. A very, I, I, I think it's fair to say that this is a real charming home. It is a, it's got just, it actually bleeds charm. It's in a very desirable location. It's got a freehold title, a very rare find, folks. The freehold estate, as I said, 431 square metres of freehold land, all described in record of title, say 65A, folio 739. Now, there's been a couple of channels that have been added to the, uh, to the channels list. Uh, the awning over the barbecue area, that now stays. And you've got three veggie pots that are also staying as well. So... That's got to be worth the extra bits. <laughs> Great assets. It is. Great assets. It is. Very it's generous awesome. and we're leaving them behind. 20 working days, that's all we have to wait. A bit of flexibility around that if we need an alternative date. So uh, you've got that uh, easy living layout, you've got that beautiful kitchen, you've got the resort-like barbecue area there that we've just thrown the awning in for you as well. And this property here, a combination of that wonderful kitchen and that lovely barbecue area really makes the entertaining fun and easy. The decisions here have all been made for you folks. It's been renovated and redecorated. Uh, there's pretty much nothing left to do but just to sit back, relax, and enjoy this particular property here. You've got the double garage plus the off-street parking as well. You've got the central location. It's nice, easy access into the Tauranga CBD. Certainly a great location for schooling. That's why Cup Street is very popular, isn't it? It's a very easy access to a uh, reputable schooling of all levels. Uh, you've got the shops and parks all within a minute's drive from home. So what more could you ask for? Well, I can tell you one thing that the vendor's asking for, and that's just an opening bit. Happy to work with you here today, so who'd like to start me away? Would have thought 6.50 would be a very reasonable start for a property in this location, particularly one of this calibre. Do I have 6.50 to start? I'm a little bit 
a shot on this one. I mean, okay, I'll we'll start away for you at $650,000. Remember right now, at $650,000, I'm happy to take $20,000 rises from here. Making it 670 if you will. To start at the auction, we give you the opportunity here today, buyers. At 650, make it 670 if you will. First call now, let's get on the bike and pedaling now. Second time, third. Last opportunity then, at 650, are you in or out? Certainly not going to leave it there. Well, I'm truly worthy of better than that. Having to go 670 on behalf of the vendor now. Vendor bid at $670,000. I can tell you now, properties like this, of this calibre, are going for a hell of a lot more than this in this location. At $670,000, $690 would be the next retort. Let's go there quickly now. If you come to buy, don't be shy. No such thing as an auction with no bids. At $670,000, do I hear $690? Well, I'm truly worthy of better than this. Think about the renovation that's been done. Everything's all good to go. $690 then on behalf of the seller. $690,000, it's with me at $690. Away from the property's value at this point in time, certainly away from my instructions. Vendors are very realistic in what they're asking for the property. I can assure you of that, but I'm well away from it at this point in time. At $690,000, chasing down another 20 rides. Take me through the 700 threshold if you will. Once I call now, second time, third. Final opportunity, 710 it is. $710,000 is with me, vendor bid. I've only started the option to give the, you, the cash buyers, the opportunity. I'll tell you what, Make it 720 and I'll give you the opportunity to talk to our sellers from that point in time. But you can't talk to them until afterwards. If I close the option, anybody can come forward with an offer. You don't want to be in one of those multis. Make it 720, I'll give you that opportunity. Make it $10,000 rise. There's a bit of eye contact going over there. Sir, I'd suggest you look over your left shoulder and look at what she's doing. She's, she's trying to get your attention. Put in your own right, man. You don't have to have his approval. Good night. Sure. Certainly happens in my house. Sure, the moment. It has to be called, folks. You have a salesperson called me grandma yesterday. <laughs> Would you like to take 710? Can't take, not hang around too much longer. Make it 710, I'll pause the option, give me that opportunity to discuss with the owners. Uh, 20, rather, sorry. Take the extra 10. Quickly, get a decision. First call now, $710,000. Make it 20, if you will. Second call, otherwise I'm going to close the option. Third, final opportunity. Option's closed, hand it back to you. Thank you. Before right, moving on to the next one, another probably another great offering here for you. Number 138 wins the rose. Chris Raw from our cherry wood office has been presenting this one to you. Now it's no need to sugarcoat this property. If you're looking for your first home or investment opportunity, this brick home with a concrete tile roof is simply the perfect option for you. Looking at the legal aspects of it, you get a, uh, a record, record of title SA 62A folio 161. Confirms it's a freehold estate, 440 square metres of land, more or less, is what's on offer. 10th of March, Chris, is still our settlement date, 2023, obviously. There's some flexibility with that. Too. Flexibility around that, so yes. if, you need, uh, if you need another date, just talk to Chris, and he'll sort that out for you. Uh, <laughs> Chris, is any additions, deletions to the channels? No, that's correct. No, all is uh, circulated there. So uh, remember, in this location, folks, you've got the Bellevue Shops, just a short walk away, the Brookfield New World, just a short drive away as well. Investors, well, you can be expecting somewhere in, somewhere in the vicinity of $600, $650 a week return for this particular property here. It's a well-located brick and tile home. Now, those in this location and this price range have traditionally been very, very sought after and extremely difficult to find, but Chris certainly dug this one out for you. Our out-of-town vendors, they're keen to pass this property to the new owner with immediate possession available if you so wish. A little cosmetic surgery, well that certainly refresh it, so uh, make 2023 the year that you jump, the, jump at the opportunity and make this house your home. It is a fantastic opportunity. Who says go for 138 and wins the road? Be happy to take a $600,000 start. I know my description has probably made you think it's probably worth a lot more than that, but be happy to take a 600 start. Looking for that opening bid, 600. Quickly now, once I call now, second time, 
Third, last chance to cash interest. Obviously not here today, Chris. I close the option. Mate, this is a fair Pardon? Five eighty. So I asked for six hundred thousand dollars well, today is what I've said. Okay. Well I'm actually gonna turn that down for that okay. case, sir. Um, take me to six hundred and then I'm happy, happy to get let you have a chat with the seller. But we'll do better than that anyway. Good. Yeah, okay. Okay, so I'm closing the option. Chris, what sort of buying power do we need? How much do we need? Because it's a great offering and a great location. Look, we're going to price the property today well below its CV. Um, pricing today is six eighty five. Six hundred and eighty five thousand dollars. There you go, sir. That's how much you need to buy uh, a property of this caliber and this location. Six hundred and eighty five thousand dollars. Chris, I would suggest that you make sure that the fuel tank in your car is full. Once that price gets out there in the marketplace, I think you're going to be very busy with inquiry and inspections. Six eighty five is your buy now price. Appreciate the participation, Thank sir. You. Right, next one up. We go a little further north now, and uh, certainly up into the uh, Waikino, uh, up in the Hauraki Plains there. Steve Cameron, working out of our YE office, has uh, been scratching around looking for great properties and a great lifestyle change for you, and he's come up with this property at number 73, Pukakauri Road. Now, positioned in the idyll idyllic surroundings with the peaceful country atmosphere and those superbly manicured gardens. I mean, just outstanding and deep. Look at that one that you see there on the screen there, folks. The legal aspects of it, it's a freehold estate. The record of title 67734 of the South Auckland Registry Office confirms you get 5,849 square metres of land. Now, as a standard for properties in this location, this is the Waihi Mining Clause uh, inserted in the contract. I won't go through it in its entirety. Uh, it's just giving you the guidance on where to go if you've got any concerns about the Waihi Mine. 20 working days, Steve, from our settlement date. Uh, from today's date is our settlement date, so not long to wait. Channel list, any, uh, any changes, no additions, deletions there. The property itself, it spills nicely to the covered entertaining deck overlooking the gardens and that private bush as well. Now, this property here, it's, uh, it's a little bit like a snake, you know. It, you know, it's just, uh, just, it just, it really does, you know. Like, just like a snake that sheds its skin, this property here, you get to shed the stresses of life when you're in here. It is just fantastic indeed. Heading around to the northeast of the property, there's a huge open field. Bring your dreams and imagination for so many options that you could create with this particular property. And all that is whilst you're being so convenient to the Waihi Township, the Hauraki Rail Trail, the Waihi Beach, you get to enjoy the peaceful Waikino lifestyle. And that's what the Waikino location brings you. So there it is, folks. I know you probably think that a lifestyle on a property like this would be uh, over a million bucks, but I can tell you now it's not. I'm happy to take a start anywhere in the eights. Even in the lower eights if it's going to help you. Somebody start your way anywhere in the eights. It's a great opportunity and a great location. First call now. Second. Last chance in or out. Okay, closing the option. Back to you, Steve. A little bit more work to do on that one, my friend, but I think once you get a price out there as a marketplace, uh, then I think you're going to be busy on this one as well. Great option and a great location. Thank you. Right, 19 Patterson Street, Charlotte Garden. I told you she'd be back, but she's back with this great property here, a great opportunity here. Where here's a, now here's a first. This has never been seen before on the market, is it, Charles? So, uh, you know, it's a moment that you will not want to miss. It's a property here that makes its debut appearance on the market right here uh, with Charlotte Gardner running the campaign and doing a great job indeed. The legal aspects of a freehold estate, 873 square metres more or less, all described in record of total SA 1764, folio 55. Uh, now the water board is as is, the alarm is as is, and the laundry tub is as is as well. We do have registered telephone bidding for this property as well. Uh, and just reminding you, the settlement date, 20 working days from today's date, or five working days after the issue of probate, which is, whichever is the latter, or such other date is mutually agreed between both parties. A couple of extra clauses in there, folks, just uh, one that uh, uh, outlining that the executor of the estate is acting. Uh, the other one, the purchaser acknowledges that there's no key for the sunroom and sliding doors. Uh, you, the purchaser agrees to release the vendor's obligation from the keys from that uh, particular sliding door. The purchaser further acknowledges that the sliding doors in the sunroom are uh, in as is where it's conditioned. So just making sure that you're fully aware of that. Any other changes? No changes? All as it is. 
So now this particular property folk built by Beasley back in the 60s there, you can only imagine what it says about the land that it sits on as well. It isn't huge, it's colossal when you take everything into consideration of what's happened in this area, uh, but it does provide you with an entire blank canvas to really do something with. You've got a raft of possibilities in the home for the renovators, developers, or land bankers as well. It's also an option for you as well. You get the opportunity to be judge and jury of the destiny of this property at 19 Patterson Street, positioned within the enviable proximity to the beach, Bayfair, Owens Place. This neighbourhood has definitely proven its draw card and status with the uh, recent surge in popularity in this location. So, what I can tell you, probably tell you folks, it's probably certainly worthy of north of a million dollars. So, I'm happy to take a start at a million. Somebody start me away at a million. I won't take anything less. Yep, thank you, sir. I'm away at a million dollars at the back of the room there now. Happy to take a 50 rise for probably this calibre in this location. At $1 million, a good start at the back there, sir. Appreciate it. He's on your promise as well. At $1 million, who takes me to $1 million and 50? What about our phone bid? Are we on a route? First call now. Second time, third, last opportunity. $1 million and 50 is with me on behalf of the vendor. Well, then, sir, one, one, can I say for you? At $1 million and $50,000 is with me. Shall I say one, one on your behalf there, sir? Here's your opportunity now. At one one we say one million one hundred thousand dollars at the back of the room there now one million one hundred and the three extra notes on the end there at the back of the room there live against our phone but at this point in time one point one making it nice and clear first call now at one point one are we on route second time third last chance. I'm going to take a 25 from here then. Advance it on behalf of the seller then at 25, sir. 1125 makes it 1150 for you. $1,125,000, make it 1150, sir. Give you the opportunity to continue discussions if there's no further bidding. At 1150, it is there now. $1,150,000 at the back up here on my left hand side here against everybody else here. Telephone bidder appears to have disappeared at this point in time. $1,150,000 at the back once, twice. Last chance in a route. Scott, bits at the back of the room for $1,150,000. Can you see if you can help me, please? Yeah. Well, we've got a couple of properties still being negotiated, folks. So uh, in the meantime, we'll press on and offer you our final property for the afternoon. 94C, 14th Avenue being the property in question there. You've got Nicholas Maloney from our Lakes office and, of course, Colin uh, joining us from our uh, Caddy Caddy office again doing the joint voices on this one here. It's a solid 60s unit and a very, des very desirable Avenue's location there. And I guess the advantage of this one, guys, is it's the bank unit of three. That always makes it more attractive because you you know you haven't got the traffic going back and forth past you, and there's a little bit of extra that I'm going to talk about in a minute about this property here. Uh, it is a uh, it is a cross lease freehold, all described in record of title SA thirty three seven one folio one eight five and SA ten D folio eight eight two. Uh, now there's some additional clauses in the contract. I um, just uh, want to remind you of that. We do have authorised phone bidding uh, in place on this one as well. Uh, clause 23, the vendors advise that they have signed, they will sign the agreement as executors and uh, administrators of the estate. Uh, however, settlement will not occur until such time as probate has been released by the by the High Court. That's pretty standard. Uh, clause 24, vendor having not been in occupation, understandably won't be making any warranties. And clause 24, uh, 25 rather, the purchaser acknowledges that no representation has been made by the vendor or the vendor's agent on which the purchaser is reliant on as to the condition of the property, including with limited weather tightness or structural integrity, and, uh, or both property and the materials. The purchaser enters into the agreement today solely in reliance on your own judgment. So just making sure that you are fully aware of that. Right, back to the uh, back to the property itself. A good size lawn area. Well, that's just outside the kitchen door. So, you know, if you've got some little feet that need a little bit of space to be running around, uh, or you're looking for something to perhaps enhance and uh, make something a little bit special, then here's the opportunity here with this one as well, folks. Again, the rear of those three. The original 60s kitchen, it's tidy, it's still very functional. So, uh, 
Put on your, your uh, imagination hat here and just let your mind run free and be creative on what you could do with this. Convenience is the key to this property here, folks. Supermarket, well, that's only three blocks away. You've got the medical centre, the pharmacy, well, they're all at the end of the street there for you as well, and not very far to go for, for, for Fraser Cove, and you've got everything you pretty much need there, including the, uh, the big countdown supermarket. So, uh, leave your hands, guys. We would like to say go for this one. Suggest four hundred and fifty thousand dollars to get me underway. Thank you. We're underway now. Four hundred and fifty thousand dollars. I'm saying twenty thousand dollar rise from here. Appreciate you working with me there, man. Four hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Seventeen would be the next retort. Let's go there quickly now. First call now. Four five zero triple zero. Second time. Third last chance. Four seventy is with me, man. Ben, a bit of four seventy. Make it ninety if you will, there, man. $470,000. Your turn at $490,000. Just need that north to south turn the chest. Yep, let's just keep it going. $490,000. Let's with you at $490,000. Take me through the 500 threshold, if you will, folks. The next retort and smart move would be 510. First call now, $490,000. Moving it along now. Take me through that threshold. Second time, third. Last chance there. Advancing on 510 on behalf of the seller of the event. Make it fuck. Take it 530. Shut up, sorry. Listen. Make it 530,000 dollars there, man. We'll pause and give you the opportunity to keep talking to yourself. 530 it is. 530,000 dollars on the right hand side. Once, twice, thrice. Craig, it's over here at 530000 dollars Can you see if we can help the lady first? Yeah. Right, back we go, folks. Appreciate your patience there. And uh, we're back to 19 Patterson Street now. I haven't been to bid from $1,150,000 to $1,210,000. Can you just confirm that bid for me, please, sir? At $1,210,000, Charlotte, you've got our vehicles on the phone over there. What are my instructions from here? On the market, we're selling for these folks at the back of the room here, $1,210,000 for the one on the better bit. First call now from 19 Patterson Street at the mount. Second time, third, last chance before it goes. Congratulations and of course congratulations to our sellers watching via the live stream. Moving straight on now to number 94C, 14th Avenue, where we have now have an amended bid now of $540,000. Can you just confirm that for me please ma'am? At $540,000, Colin, we've got our owners on the phone. My instructions are... Confirming my instructions, I sell away now $540,000 for the one on the letter bit. First, second, third, last chance of the out. All yours down to $540,000. Congratulations, sir. And it looks like we're about to get some instructions on our first property that we offered to you at the number 16 Laura Air. And back we go to number 16, Laura Ave. We've amended our bid from $1,285,000 to $1,315,000. Just confirming that for me. And ma'am, your instructions are, as I sell with these folks for the one of a bid of $1,315,000. On the market it goes then quickly now. Here's your chance. First, second, third. Last chance before it goes. And we lost $1,315,000. Folks, congratulations on your sale, folks. And that concludes our offerings on behalf of the team of We'll see you back next week with another seven great properties. We'll see you there.